Hello everybody, I am Indrajit Parui, again come in front of you in Parui Academy. Hope all of you are well. Many weeks, near about one month, you watch paint. Actually, for the cause of out of station, it's not possible to progress in the programming language. Now, I describe, define, teach you regarding the many types of programming languages. As per the new rules of ICS board, most of the schools already they decide to teach Python in place of Java from class 8. So this year who appear in class 10 exam, this is possibly last batch who are doing Java. In previous videos, I described regarding the theoretical part of Java but programming part till now is not published. Now from today we simultaneously publish both Python and Java because first priority is Python. Most of the school they already announce they teach Python from class 8. So, today I at first describe all the theoretical part details step by step regarding the Python which help from class 8 to 9 candidate who want to learn Python properly. It's totally a new programming language for school level candidate. But at that time, Python is a very popular programming language and most of the app, web page we can develop with the help of the Python. Before starting Python, we must know what is Python. So, first topic is what is Python or definition of Python. So, in what is Python de description, what is the first thing? First thing is that it's a very popular, it means Python. Python is a very, very popular high level programming language. It is a powerful language used for both general purpose programming and also special purpose programming. And it was developed by Guido van Rosen. Guido Guido Van Rosen. He started applying Python in the year 1989. So in the year 1989, the coding in Python is starting. It's extremely used to develop which things games websites, graphical user interface program that means GUI and also web application. These are the definition or what is Python. Now go to the next topic. Write down the features of Python but what are the features of Python. In describing the features of Python at first the first point is that Number one, it's very, very easy to code, even than Java. It's a very easy to code. So, Python is a very easy to write program in as compared to other high level language programming languages. And because the language used to write Python codes is similar to the English language. Next point regarding the features of the Python is it's a open source programming language. What is the meaning of open source programming language? Python is a free. That means to install Python, there is no necessity to buy it. So anybody can install Python. So Python is a free and open source programming language and open source 
programming language is one which can be easily easily improved and distributed by anyone we can download python free of cost and also use it on any operating system or we can say on any platform like windows mac or linux etc our next point regarding the features of the python is it's a object oriented programming language so we can say it's a object oriented python has an object oriented approach this means that the programs are designed using object and classes that interact with each other next features is it's a integrated and extensible language it's a integrated and extensible language that means we can easily integrate python with other languages such as c c++ we can also write and compile a python code in c or c++ our next feature says it's a interpreted language that means the code we create in python is executed line by line which makes which makes it easy to correct any errors so we can correct any errors in python easily on execution a python code is immediately converted is immediately converted into an intermediate form into an intermediate form this is known as byte code this is known as byte code the byte code makes it easier to execute or run the code in future and the next and the last features of the python is it's a dynamically type language what types of language this is it's a dynamically type language what is the means of dynamically type language that means python is a dynamically type this means that we do not need to declare the type of variable in advance when variable is required then we can declare the variable and do any types of calculation or declare variable in any position any time as per program requirement these are all the main features of python programming language next now how we can installing python it's a new in school level so everybody must know how we can install it to install python we must follow the steps follow these steps step 1 open the website we first open the website where from where we can download python 279 python 279 look at the screen there total path name i already define from where you can install python easily next step step 2 is click on download python 2.7.9 step number 3 double click on the double click on the download software double click on the download software now the software downloaded automatically in the download folder then step 4 click on run button the python setup window appears on the screen next step is step 5 select the add python 2.7 to add python 2.7 to path check box and the last option is click on click on install now button after a few seconds python will be successfully installed on our computer who are who don't want to install python they can directly open python editor by typing python online python editor in google and then they can do the python easily in computer or maybe on mobile today so you learn how we can install python what are the features of python and what is python from the next day we learn 
how we write program in python and what are the basic keywords to writing python program hope all of you are well please was parvi academy at 8 pm now the python series and also the java series is begin every day you must get video on python and java to learn python and java easily in your home without going any center must watch parvi academy of indrajit parvi at 8 pm every day at 9